Hey, today we're going to do cooking tips combined with NPM highlights. On a podcast a few days ago, I was talking with uh, Tracy Lee, Rob Osell, and Spivey. What's his name? Spivey, 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 Spivey. Man, it's hard remembering people's names when all you do is interact with them online. My Spivey. He was not here at all. Who are you? James Spivey. I was right. Did I say that? Anyway, sodium citrate. 10 to 20 grams with a liquid cheese mixture. You get a fantastically cheesy sauce. Highly recommend it. Cheese and Spivey. That's, that's what I got today. I like to write. I like the, the process of getting words uh, and thoughts out of my head into some form in order to reflect and understand more about myself. You, you learn more about what you like and what you don't like, what you know and what you don't know. Problem with writing though, is that I'm not a stellar writer. What I've found is a few NPM libraries that have done a fantastic job at uh, pointing out some things that I probably should be looking at a little bit more closely and rethinking the way that I'm, I'm, I'm putting words together. There's two different sets of packages. There's Write Good, which is fantastic. You can use it right out of the box and it does a lot of useful things quickly and it is extensible. But there's also the uh, unified ecosystem where retext and remark and other things lie, which allow you a very extensible way of dealing with natural language uh, but is a little bit more intense to configure. I've been writing blog posts on my personal site, on Medium, on Shape Security's blog for quite some time, and I'm running right good through a post that I wrote sometime last year on Google's reCAPTCHA. Let's see what it does. It points out so many things that I probably should have fixed before I published that. I didn't know what I didn't know. But with a tool like this, you can instantly level up your writing and bypass a whole bunch of things that are problematic in general. The next one here, Remark, uh, or specifically Remark Lint, is uh, something I've not played too much with. It looks extremely extensible, uh, but it is much more uh, intense and requires a little bit more tweaking for me to get it usable for what I need to use it for. It shows a lot of promise and a lot of potential, and, and it may be that I'm very, very close to having it be just a, a fantastic, amazing thing that I use on a constant daily basis, but it's not quite there yet. So you have to have an RC file with Remark. I'm using a .remarkrc.js uh, configuration, which allows me to also just inject some code in there as well. You can see down on line 18, I'm including a personal dictionary where I'm just reading in a personal.dict file uh, with uh, new line separated terms in order to augment the dictionary. Intensify plugin checks for a lot of what are called weasel words, words that really don't add a whole lot of value to the text. There's also retext passive, which uh, checks for passive voice. Profanities, <laughs> which is something that uh, I, I could benefit from. I'm also adding the retext assuming plugin, which checks for words like uh, just, simply, obviously, Things that add no value to the text and can actually offend the reader by assuming a lot about their background that may or may not be true. I ended up talking a lot about uh, retext and remark and the plugins when the focus of this was actually supposed to be write good. But the fact is that write good works so well out of the box, there really wasn't all that much to talk about. Retext and remark show a lot of promise, uh, but there, there's a lot more complexity there that you need to dive into before it gets to be very useful. So if you want to get uh, productive right away, check out write good. If you're looking to uh, tailor something specifically to your needs, Retext and Remark might be perfect, especially if you're implementing plugins or things like that. Thanks again for watching. If you like this stuff, then subscribe, like, hit the notification bell. I've learned here after working with YouTube for a little while that those are actually so much more important than I gave them credit for at the start. And uh, you, should, you should click them on everything that you appreciate because it'll just encourage the creators to make more and support them uh, within the YouTube platform. See you next time.